Now here is how you can use the Waze app on your iPhone and let's get started. So naturally you at first need to make sure that there is the app installed on your phone. So you need to go ahead and of course authenticate yourself. Just make sure you get the uh, app like this and you'll be able to, to actually use it, right? So it is a free app and as far as I know, there are not any in-app purchases available. So once the app is downloaded, you just need to open it up like that. It's gonna ask you about your location, which is crucial for the, you know, Waze and generally speaking, map apps. So I like to just set it not only for once, but while using the app, if that makes sense. And now it asks you if you want to sign in or just log in if you already have an account. So if you don't have one, just get a started like that. Then it asks you about notifications, which I'm not a big fan of. So I'm going to click on a do not allow. And then you need to create your Waze account. So whenever there is the ability to sign up with an email or a Gmail, I use it in this way, right? So you can do it, but you don't necessarily have to. As you can see, there is the option to sign up later. So you can skip it and not use an account with your ways. But yeah, I'm going to do that for now. Having an account is obviously a good idea because everything is synced and you can interact with other people. Okay. Then there is the privacy policy, which you uh, can read through and understand if you want to uh, like go forward. So I'm going to click on a not personalized ads and you can see that we have the map situation going on. So everything just showed up. You can see the current speed um, in the bottom left corner. That is for the situation when you're driving. So that is very useful. Obviously, you can click on the button right here with this like triangle in order to um, just do and add some information to the map. And then you can slide up like this and you can set up your home location, a work location and all of the other things. But generally speaking, it is a navigation app. So the way that it works is, of course, to get you from one place to another. So you can type in, I don't know, Berlin, uh, Germany, right? And it's going to give you the routes available like that. And you'll be able to basically use it as a navigation app. And the way that it works is that the uh, app is like social, right? Meaning that people driving the same routes as you can report some obstructions or something going on on the road, which means that you can have the most up to date. So yeah, it just means that you have the all of the up to date, most up to date information about it. So that's going to be about this video. Let me know below in the comments if you found this tutorial helpful. Most definitely subscribe for more and I'll catch you in the later tutorials.